previously on Keeping Up With The Joneses. Hey! Stand up! The mustering season put everyone through their paces. Jump in there, Jeff! Yeah, jump in, grab the jump in. And Milton and the kids fought a road crop. Well, they'll eat you. You can't get much more dangerous than that. In this episode... We'll get it going. It's all hands on deck for the season's final muster. And the Cooley Bar crews left the toughest job to last. Oh, 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 there's always a bit of hunting everyone, eh? But in the middle of the action... There's been a big cop track started down Billabong. Let's go. Milton has more cop trouble. And just what is coming to the station in the big white box? Bar, it seems a morning like any other. Doesn't that smell beautiful, that boab? Can you smell it? Yeah. Mm. Except today's a milestone for everyone. Never know when you want to go, mate. Find out more of a cause to use that. After months rounding up cattle, it's the last muster of the year. The wet season starts in a few weeks, and before rain stops work, the Joneses have one tough job to do. A wild bull catch. We're going to go and catch a few bulls that don't come in on the muster. Which is a hard job to do, and we leave until late in the year when the water dries up a bit. A few old clean skin fellas that are way out the back there. We'll see you in a couple of hours. The yearly bull catch is Coolabar's most dangerous event. Aggressive bulls escape a normal muster, but they're key to breeding and must be caught. Trouble is, the angry fellas don't come easy. What you do is you, um, like all the rogue bulls and that, that won't come in in the muster, you've got these little buggies, you run along beside them and that arm goes over, grabs him on the head, and you tie him to a tree and skid him up into that truck then. Today, Milton wants to catch 30 head, but the bull's bad tempers aren't the only challenge. They also like to hide. So the boys are on the hunt. Straight the lead, Steve. With hundreds of k's to cover, it's a mean game of hide to see. You got left, eh? Look, follow our track, mate. Left at this crossroad. Right away. Not a lot of people do it now. Bull catching should die out, mate. Can't see anything yet to the right here, but let me know if you do. Just come up even further out. Finally, the boys spot their first bulls of the day. Yeah, just a bob on the fence here, mate. Well, so they think. Bull? Uh, she was a great cow with a couple of wieners. I don't Nothing up here, so we'll go that way. In the first round, the bulls are definitely out hiding the seekers. Back at the homestead, the smallest Jones has a beast to tame. I can drive the big Kenworth. Hang on, we'll get it going first and then we'll swap seats. Let's go, you! I'm just going to take little Milton. He's going to um, have his first drive in the road train. He's four now. I've to drive the Jeep at three, so next year he'll be able to go to Darwin for me and I'll get tired. But for now, Amos is taking his nephew for a loop around the homestead. Right, eh? Watch where we're going. If the little fella can see over the dashboard. We're here! Where's the next stop? There, there. Catherine, we got away, Catherine. You got him. Soon, a four-year-old driving a road train gets on someone's radar. Copy there, little Milton. What are you doing, 
Are you concentrating on something? Concentrating on the road train. He's right, he's driving his load. He's doing a good job. I see him in a couple of months. He's a bit quicker on horseback. New age driver. Oh, look out! Look out, look out off the road! <laughs> The new Jones baby only a couple of weeks away. Christina's little man is growing up fast. There's home, we're nearly home. Look at me, Mum. Running off the road a bit there. Out in the paddocks, it's all quiet on the bull catch front. You there, Matty? Just trying to hear that chopper. See where that bull might be. And just switch some motors off to see if you can hear him. Head pilot Stephen Groves hasn't spotted any bulls yet. Or has he? You got the cattle there, Steve? Yeah, shit, yeah, mate. Let's go. Now the chase is on. And it's going to take the whole team to bring this fellow down. It's a bit of fun, a bit of a buzz for all the blokes, and there's always a bit of hunting everyone, eh? Easy going. Big one, we got ready, eh? With the wet on the way, it's the year's last muster. After a rough start, the boys are on a roll. Yeah, it's all back behind you then. Rounding up the wild bulls. Buddy! But Milton is about to get dragged away. Copy there, Milton. The Joneses have a slight problem. A saltwater crop has gotten past Milton's River traps and moved into the billabong near the homestead. Come on, come in. You got mud on your boots? So Milton and his most experienced crop hunter have to go get it. I'm just go and have a look here, see if you can see this bloody thing, eh? Uncle Hamish is coming too. Everyone reckon he's about 12 foot long, but I thought he was only a little fella, but if he's 12 foot, we might have to get rid of him from here, eh? But before they can catch the road croc, they've got to spot him first. All the cockatoos have told him we're coming. Have a look now, see if you can see him, mate. Yeah. Right here. here, look, there's his track there, see where he's been going here? See there? Coming up here, see little tracks through the mud? That dirty water there, look, see that dirty water? Yeah, dirty water right here. Well, we lived just there and we got pets, dogs, and this little fella here, 12 foot crocodile, will grab hold of them, you know? A crocodile that size will have a go at you and I. You know, you can't afford to have that. He's in a bad place, he doesn't need to be here. Pretty hard to catch in here, you can't get a boat in here or anything. Eviction isn't going to be easy. But Milton has a plan. Away from the station, another plan is afoot. Something's coming to Coolibar in a big white box. 
quad box on the way. Just stay there, bull. Only one person knows exactly what's going on. Don't eat me. Once I finish doing this, I'm going to go down and check the arrival of my surprise that I've organised for Hamish. It's been a really big effort to get it organised and get it down here, so I hope it turns out well. To mark the end of mustering, Christy's flying in a treat to romance her men. The romance has gone to the wayside. <laughs> yeah, out here it's harder to organise things. You can't just go out and buy a bunch of flowers or a box of chocolates. They won't last, so it can be a bit tricky. While Christy's on her mission, two fellas are starting theirs. The two Miltons are going to have a go at spotting the clock from the air. But Hamish will be very surprised if they do. It's hard to see them. In the billabong, there's a lot of algae and reeds at the bottom of the billabong, even when it's this low. They can get in under there. That's why they've survived so long. They're pretty good at stealth. Now it's time to employ a slightly taller rock Right there, away from the water! The boys are going to try to poke the rock onto the bank. Or something. Couldn't really see much. You could sort of see where it was sitting by the, by the different coloured water a little bit, but unless you knew it was there, you wouldn't know. And just started poking around in there and out he came. It was a pretty good shot, actually. Livened him up a bit. Well, he's not happy. Looks like the boys will have to change tactics to catch this guy. Gotta get that snare, try the snare. Right, we'll get that snare, eh? Milton and Hamish have failed to chase the croc over to the bank. So it's plan B. are going to try hooking the fellow's snout or tail, then pull him to the bank. I reckon we can hook on the way to the other one. I reckon we'll get him. And they're off. There he is. On first go, the rogue bites straight through the rope. Hamish fixes the snare and it's time for round two. Got him! Hey, got him! Hang on to the bar! You got him, Kendry! Oh, crocodile catcher! With a bit of a struggle, they've got the beast on the bank. But no one's more surprised than Milton. Well, I thought he, we were just going to poke around and have a look for him. And next minute, Hamish has got it hooked on the end of this turnout. Can you believe that? Plucking that out of your bloody garden, eh? That's why you don't go around the edge of the water, see? Doesn't matter what water, whether it's a billabong or the river, when you're in crocodile country, they can be anywhere. Look at them, Millions, don't come that side of him. I'll keep the weight on his head here, bros. You've got him. you just got to get that first one. Be careful now. I'll keep the weight forward. You've got him, country. we got him. Man eater. Hey? <laughs> With the culprit in custody, it's over to the Cooley Bar Croc Ramp where he'll stay until Milton finds him a new home. Harder. Right, hop out, little Milton. Exciting, eh? Hard in a little shallow water like that, you know. But we definitely don't want him in there. You don't want a crocodile at your bloody doorstep, do you? Milton may have his fugitive, but Cooley Bar still has a few more on the loose. He's off to rejoin the bull catch. 
that means missing out on what's arrived in the big white box. Just got my surprise for Hamish in here. I'm going to go and check it out now and make sure it's right. I've got my contacts, my connections, all secret squirrel business. Well, looks like it's time to find out what all the fuss is about. Hey, darling, I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> Do you know what it is? Is it a kitten? <laughs> it could be. It could be a puppy. Do you catch him on kittens? <laughs> Maybe cat food. Oh, my God. Look at that. You've given me crabs. <laughs> For her beloved, Christy's flown in mud crabs. Thank you, darling. Caught fresh this morning. Look at him. Hamish's absolute favourite. It's not much to look at at the moment. Flesh inside. Die for. Out of the hot water, straight into ice water. Leave it there to cool off. Oh, unbelievable. It's an ultimate luxury to have a mud trap, especially when it's friendly looking. Well, I think he's loving it. <laughs> Thank you very much, darling. No worries, darling. Did you get there? Darling? Yeah, I think it went pretty well. Harris is always excited when I get mud crab for him. Yeah. How's about Sharon, Hamish? Holy dooly! Didn't think so. On the Coolie Bar Plains... These fellas all got a little bit of harm on them, mate. The last muster is almost done and dusted. Get these cattle around a bit. The team's caught 29 of 30 bulls. And with the wet season closing in... Get in, Milton. Get in right here. Milton's back in time to snag the last ball of the day. That's how you get them, mate. You get about 30 a day, it's good going, eh? Pays the wages, make a bit of fuel money for the wet, eh? All that's left is to get the last balls onto the truck. Back that truck up, open the door and run them through. A little easier said than done. Drop the chain up the top of his head. Ah! He doesn't want to go to the pen, does he, eh? <laughs> He's a bit like OJ Simpson. Push you, Andrew. Hit him here, look. Matty, with your shoulder. Get his shoulder out beyond that door. Real tight. Come forward. Oh, no, that's it for the day. Finish. It's been a big day. And an even bigger season. But now, I don't know, let's go home. Years mustering is done. We've finished our mustering at Gurley Bar. Been up here for a long time, but um, you know we've had a good season. Our cattle are good, but uh, that'll do me. It's Sunday, beer o'clock. Mustering all year, a man can sure work up a thirst. It's no big. Now, there's not much else to do but enjoy some good company. Look at him, isn't he beautiful? Don't touch him. Good food. Am I allowed to have any? And wait for the rains to come. Beautiful. beautiful. Very hot. I don't know why it would be so hot. <laughs> Mom, a crocodile can spin around. But before Coolie Bar's flooded in, the Joneses are off on a short trip. Come on. And they've brought a friend. Hey, Dad, can you hold my box? To mark the end of mustering, the Joneses have gone to the corner store to get a treat. Hold that while we get an ice cream. What's it an what ice cream? Which one? I don't want the ice cream. Oh, I want ginger beer. Want ginger beer? Yeah. Seems little Milton's still a bit too thirsty for ice cream. I don't want to. Oh, I hate it when he does that. And he has his hands full entertaining some out of towners. Here, put the drink down and hold the crocodile up for the lady. <laughs> oh, look at that. Well, I hate that when I thought I had that. Make him flick up a chip. Whoa, little crocodile! At the end of a huge mustering season, <laughs> Mum and Dad couldn't be happier. Ah!
<laughs> it's been a really busy year and it'll be the wet season pretty soon again, so we don't get to go out very often together. It's nice when we do. On our next trip to Cooley Bar, everything revolves around the weather right? On the eve of Christina's baby arriving, the wet season returns. I bought a little bit of blue and a bit of a couple of pink things. Right on! And who's going to win the Cooler Bar Cane Toe Challenge? We're away and racing. Yes, number, number. It's a protest. We're going to have to run it again.